In this little clip, we're going to be looking at how to draw the perpendicular bisector of two points, A and B. Now, the perpendicular bisector is a straight line which has the property that it's exactly halfway between A and B. In other words, when you join A and B, it's exactly the halfway distance. And also, it's at right angles to that line. Right angles means perpendicular. And so that's why we call this the perpendicular right angles bisector because it cuts the line between A and B in half. Well, how do we draw it? We start off by thinking of a familiar shape, and you should all know that that is a rhombus. What do we know about rhombuses? Well, all four sides are equal in length, and this has an effect on the symmetry because all the diagonal lines are lines of reflection reflection symmetry. That's a line of reflection symmetry, and so is that. The angles at the centre where the diagonals cross are all equal, so they must all be right angles. Now, symmetry also tells us that the two half diagonals in each direction must be equal to each other. So the diagonals bisect each other. They cut each other in half. So how is that going to help us to do our construction? Well, if we are able to draw a rhombus in between our two points A and B, all we would have to do is to draw the diagonal because that would be our perpendicular bisector. It cuts AB in half and it's at right angles to AB. So what we have to do effectively is to draw a rhombus. And there's a technique here. We would open up our compass to a certain distance and we draw an arc from A above the line AB and another one from A below the line AB. Then without changing the opening of our compass at all, we draw two more arcs from B which cross over the ones uh, which we drew from A. Now when we join the two intersection points, uh, that is the perpendicular bisector. Now why? Well, basically what we have drawn is a rhombus. Now why is this a rhombus? Well, all four of the distances must be the same because we haven't changed the opening on the compass. So from A, those two distances must be the same, and from B, those two distances are also the same as the ones from A because there's been no change in the opening of the compass. And as we saw when we were looking at the rhombuses, uh, the perpendicular bisector cuts this line in half and is at right angles, or is it perpendicular to the line AB. So if you were doing this in a test or an exam, that's what the marker would be expecting to see. Uh, two lines like this from A and B and like this, and the line joining the intersection points. Make sure that if you do answer questions like this, that you do not rub out these construction lines, these arcs, because they would be expected in your answer to prove that you have done the construction in the correct way. Should we do one more, uh, uh, looking at two different points A and B? Slight difference here. From A, I'm going to open up my compass to approximately three quarters of the distance between A and B and draw a single arc and then I'm going to do the same again from B and of course I've now got two intersection points I have to choose uh, arcs so that I do get two intersection points and so that now when I join them up I've got my perpendicular bisector once again do not rub out any construction lines or else you won't get the marks uh, if you answer this in an exam Perpendicular bisectors are very important in mathematics because they can represent some important ideas. Now, every point on the perpendicular bisector is the same distance from A as it is from B. Every point, not just the middle point that we saw earlier. Which means that everywhere to the right of this line is closer to the point B, and everywhere to the left of the line is closer to the point A. And that has enormous consequences in some areas of mathematics because often you can solve a problem 
about two points just by drawing the perpendicular bisector between them.